On the news tonight, former President Obasanjo orders rate Governor Saludo High as he clocks one year in office. Catholic Church celebrates Mother's Day in Grand Style. INEX says governors elect to receive certificates of return March 29 and 31. Mississippi's storm, U.S. President Biden declares emergency recovery. Before the news in detail, here is a special message. Governor Chukuma Saludo has come for a total turnaround maintenance of the Anambra State economy and promotion of core Igbo values. Let us give him maximum support for the task ahead. Good evening and welcome to the news. My name is Maureen Stone Enujoke. The former president of Nigeria, Chief Olushego Abasanjo, has commended Anambra State Governor Professor Chukuma Saludo for what he accomplished in his 365 days in office, adding that his five pillars of development are top notch. Chief Obasanjo, who gave the commendation at the International Convention Center, Oka, to commemorate Governor Chukuma Saludo's one year in office, noted that the governor has not disappointed Nyanambra. Correspondent Emmanuel Chiwata reports. The former president told Governor Soludo to carry out all his plans for the next three years to make Anambra livable and prosperous homeland and advised him to make the state the country's largest drug manufacturing hub and oil palm producer as he has the potential to make the state greater. Former President Obasanjo recalled his work with Professor Soludo when he was his economic advisor and noted that Governor Soludo did not misadvise him in any way and such performance impressed him so much that he was asked to lead the Central Bank of Nigeria. He described the governor as someone he sees beyond the governor of the state rather for national and international position. <laughs> The market is very, very untouched. I am a Italian. I don't go to Italian. You know, anybody can be put in any place. But anybody cannot be a performer. To perform, you need certain attributes, certain competences, and talent is one of those things that you need. Let us develop talent. The chairman of the occasion, Chief Emmanuel Iwanyangu, said that Indian Ambra are very lucky to have Professor Soludo as governor and remarked that he has shown excellence in all ramifications, both at the national, international and local levels. He highlighted some achievements of the governor and appreciated his positions on national issues, urging Indian Ambra to be proud of him and give him more support. <laughs> Governor Soludo, while addressing the people, said the celebration signified a special day for him and Ndianambra and pointed to the fact that the one year in office was faced with humongous challenges, but with the collective efforts of Ndianambra, he achieved a lot with less. <laughs>
In their remarks, the Transition Committee Chairman of Anyosha Local Government Area, Mr. Gerard Ozo, and President General of Iswafia, Mr. Shikadibia Okeke, praised the Governor for his achievements in all sectors of the state economy and making Anambra a smart mega homeland. The International Convention Center Oka was behive of activities as the unique celebration attracted people from all walks of life who listened to the Governor's monumental achievements in just one year. Emmanuel Shibata for ABS News. Anambra governor's wife, Mrs. Nonye Soludo, says mothers must show better commitment to the campaign to save the home and the society from complete moral collapse. Mrs. Soludo stated this in Oka in a message to mark the 2023 Mother's Sunday of the Catholic Church. According to the governor's wife, mothers and indeed women must rise up to the demands of social values and do what must be done to ensure that both the home and the collective society are saved from complete decay. While she described mothers as the pillars of social progress and heart of any society, Mrs. Soludo asked them to come together to have conversations about how issues that affect them, including growing abuses, domestic and gender-based violence, could be tackled. She also called the attention of mothers to what she described as a breakdown of common morality in homes and schools, including drug use among children, cultism and illegal quest for wealth among the youths, and warned that if these ugly developments are not checked in time, the human society might live in perpetual regrets. The Anambra First Lady, while felicitating all the Catholic mothers in Anambra State and all over the world, said that even though the occasion of Mother's Sunday is a special one. Mothers, and indeed women, must be celebrated without dates. She also revealed that her husband's administration places high regards on policies that concern women and children and has achieved a lot in tackling cases of gender-based violence, provided access to education for girls, empowered vulnerable women, giving women opportunities in governance, provided affordable access to health, and reduced maternal mortality counts, among others. Special Mass was celebrated all through the Catholic parishes to commemorate the 2023 Modern Sunday of the Women. The Mass, which saw them being joyous, beautifully adorned with their Catholic women organization uniforms, praising and giving thanks to God for His grace upon them and the gift of motherhood. Religion correspondent Amaka Chibuzo Okoye has the details. They participated actively in the service of the Mass in reminding self the roles played by the Virgin Mary, who is their role model. For me, child. If there is any mother who has not been in her If there is any mother whose most value has not passed so much, and you bear this in your heart, I beg you today for me. If there is anything you have said, prayed against anybody, your mother, your brother, your sister, today. We are dear to his heart. And no matter how sinful we might appear, God loves us. God cares for us. Because at creation he gave us life. And that life must be nurtured to the end. That life must be sustained. That life must be meaningful. So anything that will make that life not to be meaningful, God steps in. And it changes the situation for our own good. Felicitating with the Catholic women as they celebrate the Commissioner for Education, Professor Ngozi Chumude, thank God for his special gift of motherhood, which is a divine call and vocation, advising all mothers to venture into the new trend of child upbringing, where they will play a role of a friend, mother, and companion, so as to know how they live their lives, help to harness and brighten their future as to be useful to them and to the society at large. Felicitate with every woman out there 
It is a divine call to be a mother. It is a divine call to be a woman. Women and nature are the same thing. For former managing director of Anambra Broadcasting Service, ABS, Lady Chingwe Nedum, mothers are peculiar and entrusted with most responsibilities which they normally do at ease. Therefore, they should be respected and loved, encouraging mothers to be steadfast in all challenges staring them at face, stating with prayers they will excel and make difference. The president, Catholic Women Organization, St. Thomas Aquinas Parish, JRA Oka, Lady Obioma Afubuem, said motherhood is not easy, in which they are emulating and honoring Virgin Mary, who in all things stood by her son and see that he conquers. The women yesterday had social evening where they were exposed to right roads to home building, seminars, games, cultural display, and many others. Special prayers, thanksgiving, and other side attractions climax demands amaka chibuzo okoye abs news the sacredness of human life from the very beginning of conception till death took the center stage of discussions during the pro-life conference held at the catholic retreat center Okuno. correspondent kenet chukuchukodi has more on this friends which attracted state government officials priests and seminarians from different catholic dioceses including nurses and hosts of other participants seeks to emphasize the sanctity of human life against abortions suicide and killings and other unwholesome activities against the human life the bishop of ekulobe diocese cardinal peter okbaleke in a keynote address centered on the theme of the conference building a culture of life in africa Africa, revealed that African culture upholds the sacredness of human life as exemplified through names as Ndubisi, Ndubeze, and Ndukako, of which taking any human life in African culture is a taboo. Cardinal Obaleke, represented by Reverend Father Michael Mungwe, noted that God is the 